Good evening. Thank you for participating in tonight's public hearing on docket number 2020-0050. I'm Jay Griffin, Chair of the Hawaii Public Utilities Commission, and with me tonight are Commissioners Jennifer Potter and Commissioner Leo Suncian, as well as the Commission staff. As an initial matter, I'll explain the logistics for testifying on the WebEx platform. Sign up to testify, use the chat feature by clicking on the chat button on the bottom right of your WebEx screen. Uh, WebEx screen. Then type, I want to testify in the chat box and direct your, your request to the host. Host will call, call you and unmute your microphone when it's when your turn to testify. For participants on the phone, we'll mute your line when you, when you are not testifying to ensure we can hear everyone clearly. When the time comes for you to testify, then the host will unmute your line you'll be prompted to dial star six before you speak. Today's hearing is being recorded. A copy of the recording will, will be available on the commission's YouTube channel. Reminder, anyone who wishes to testify, please indicate so in the chat feature and we'll call on you in the order you signed up. We'll also have time for participants on the phone who wish to testify. All, all participants will be on mute until that, uh, until that time. State law requires that the commission hold a public hearing Whenever a public utility plans to place, construct, erect, or otherwise build a new 46 kilovolt or greater high voltage electric, electric transmission system above the surface of the ground uh, through any, any residential area. I uh, note this is in Hawaii Revised Statute Section 269-27.5. This evening, the commission will be holding a public hearing uh, for docket number 2020 Dash 0050. The purpose is for the commission to take testimony, and not to answer questions about the application. Testifiers can all can always contact both Hawaii Electric and the Consumer Advocate if you have questions for them. Uh, you can find the contact information for the Consumer Advocate at their website, as well as for Hawaii Electric. Hawaii Electric's uh, Hawaii Electric companies requests are described in detail in this application filed on June 5th, 2020. And in the hearing notice. In summary, Juan Electric is requesting the commission approval to relocate 46 kilovolt overhead lines along Salt Lake Boulevard, including a relocation of electric poles and replacement of transformers. The scope of the public hearing is limited to the issues listed at the outset of the hearing that are included in Juan Electric's application. And the ground rules for testifying tonight. The applicant will be given eight minutes to discuss their application. And the consumer advocate will be given eight minutes to explain their role uh, in the process and present any testimony. All other testifiers will have up to two minutes uh, to present testimony at this hearing. So given the turnout, I think many testifiers will have five minutes. Sorry, we're going to amend on the fly here. Um, so anyone wishing to testify from the public will have up to five minutes. Testifiers may not give any all give all or any portion of their allotted time to another testifier. You can also submit comments in writing to the commission by email or regular mail. Uh, in your email, please reference docket number 2020-0050. And you can send those email comments to, we have an online form on our website, uh, puc.comments at hawaii.gov. If you testify this evening at the beginning of your testimony, please identify yourself, state whether you're testifying on behalf of an organization or as an individual, state whether you support or oppose the applicants requests. Uh, commencing with the hearing tonight, we'll begin with testimony from Hawaii Electric, followed by the consumer advocate, followed by anyone from the public who has indicated they wish to testify via the WebEx chat feature. Uh, and then at the very end, followed by anyone on the in the public that has joined the meeting through the phone. Uh, to the public participants on WebEx to use the chat feature, click on the chat button on the bottom right of your WebEx stream. I want to testify, and the host will call on you and unmute your test uh, your microphone. So with that, um, we're going to first turn it over to Hawaiian Electric. Uh, can we make sure uh, we have the person presenting tonight? We've unmuted them. This is Rudy to my Hawaiian Electric. Testing mic. Good evening, Rudy. Yeah, we can hear you fine. Okay, shall I start? Yes, please. Thank you, Rudy. Okay, great. Good evening, Chairman Griffin, Commissioner Potter, Commissioner Sunshine, ladies and gentlemen. 
My name is Rudy Tamayo. I am the Vice President of Energy Delivery for Hawaiian Electric Company. In this docket, Hawaiian Electric is requesting a, a commission de determination that proposed relocation of an existing 46 kilovolt or KV line located along Salt Lake Boulevard between Maluna Street and Ala Lilikoi Street. Be constructed above surface ground pursuant to revised uh, statute 269-27.6A. The total project cost is estimated at $2,336,094. The city and county of Honolulu will share in the project costs with a contribution of approximately $1,057,755. The need for the project. The city and county of Honolulu has requested that Hawaiian Electric relocate the company's existing facilities on the Makalapa 46 kV overhead sub transmission line and Makalapa Moanaloa 12 kV overhead distribution line underbuilt along Salt Lake Boulevard between Maluna and Ala Lilikoi Street. The project is intended to accommodate the city's request and will take place during the third and final phase of the city's um, Salt Lake Boulevard road widening projects will provide multiple lanes of road capacities for the entire length of Salt Lake Boulevard. We'll go into the project description now and um, typically we'll have poster boards, but we're gonna do it virtually. So we have to, Tyler, could you share your screen? Okay, I'll be using two exhibits to describe the proposed work. Exhibit one shows the overall project area and gives general idea of the old pole locations, which are shown in yellow and in yellow, and the new pole location shown in red. Now, this is a section, there's actually five, I'm sorry, six inserts, and we can show you in detail approximately where those, that work will entail. Tyler, next slide, please. Um, if if you, excuse me, <laughs> let me get back to the testimony. The overhead re electrical work, which is consists of 20, 29 existing wood poles being relocated and replaced with 26 wood poles and three self-supporting poles to support 46, 12 kV and secondary conductors. The relocation of these poles result in the need to string new 46, 12 kV and secondary conductors between pole 127 and pole 122 and replace secondary conductors between pole 114 and pole 110X. Since the filing of the application, the city has decided to construct these projects into two phases. Due to the project phasing, the project will require the installation of additional four temporary poles, uh, support poles with anchors to replace existing and replacement of two secondary poles. Um, just in context, phase one would actually be uh, towards the Makai side and the drawing there would be towards towards the bottom. And, and Makai is phase one and phase two would be work proceeding on the Makai side of the of Salt, Lake, Salt Lake Boulevard. Um, okay. Tyler, could you go to just thumb through the exhibit and we'll go to exhibit two. And this is pretty much the alignment um, along Salt Lake Boulevard heading Diamond Head. Okay. Exhibit two shows street view renderings of the proposed new poles. I want to caveat though, you know, this is represents location, not necessarily scale to size in terms of the new poles to be installed. Uh, the cost estimate will remain approximately the same, even if, even with the construction phasing. The city is requesting Hawaiian Electric work to start May 2022 and is being coordinated with the city's project schedule. Tyler, maybe you could come through the exhibit. And that's looking east on the roadway. OK. 
Okay. In conclusion, I thank the commission for this opportunity to describe the proposed project. And this would conclude our presentation. And typically, if we're in, in person, we would be available, but virtually we are available to answer any questions. And we do have a project team available for those. Uh, actually, on that note, Mr. Tamayo, can, is there contact information, you could, your email that you could share sure. with everyone here? Sure. Or um, a different email that uh, people could contact Hawaiian Electric with? Sure. I, I will uh, I'll defer to Carissa. Could you uh, give the email that would prompt, give a prompt response to anyone asking questions? Hello, Marissa. She might be on mute. Sorry, do we need to unmute her? Yeah, maybe. Post, can you please? Uh, is that Marissa Chun? Hi. Or yes. Can you hear me? Marissa. I'm yes. sorry. Can no you problem. um send any uh, email to regulatory at hawaiianelectric dot com? Thank you. Great. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you, uh, Rudy. Uh, appreciate that. And now we're going to turn. Uh, it looked like we have Dean Nishina here from the Consumer Advocates Office. Or Marcy, I see them that Marcy, who's uh, who's speaking tonight on behalf of the CA's office. Good evening, Chair Griffin. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Thanks, Dean. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. I, I and um, thank you to uh, PUC staff attorney. Um, Mr. Ching for sending me the updated link. I was having problems getting into the WebEx earlier, but um, now I can participate through WebEx instead of by phone. Um, anyway, um, good evening, Chair Griffin, Commissioner Potter, Commissioner Asuncion, and members of the public. My name is Dean Nishina, Executive Director for the Division of Consumer Advocacy in the Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs, also known as the Consumer Advocate. The consumer advocate represents the interests of consumers in public utility and transportation matters by advocating for reliable services at reasonable customer costs. I am here this evening to listen to the community's comments regarding the application filed by Hawaiian Electric Company to, re to relocate a 46 kilovolt overhead transmission line along Salt Lake Boulevard on the island of Oahu. The consumer advocate will take an independent look at Hawaiian Electric's request for commission approval of this project. This will include our office asking questions about the need and the reasonableness of the project, whether the proposed placement above ground is reasonable, as well as other factors. After we have completed our review, we will file a statement of position with the commission explaining our analysis and recommendations. Tonight, however, we encourage the public to express your comments and opinions to the commission regarding Hawaiian Electric's proposed project and the above ground placement. This will assist both the consumer advocate and the commission in our work. If you do not wish to speak tonight, we do encourage you to submit written comments to the commission or our office so that your comments can be made part of the record. As we move forward, please feel free to contact the consumer advocates office at any time to share your thoughts, concerns and questions regarding this or any other regulated utility or transportation matter. Um, our contact information, um, I'll start with our phone number. If you call uh, area code 808-586-2800, that's our general line. And then you can um, actually get the additional contact information that I'm going to also share verbally, but I, I figured the phone number might be the easiest one to convey. Our email address is DCA, um, that's dog, cat, uh, apple, at dcca.hawaii.gov. And our mailing address is PO Box 541, Honolulu, Hawaii 96809. Um, but I will again repeat the, the phone number might be easiest, 586-2800. Um, with that, I thank you for the opportunity to offer these comments. Hi, Mr. N uh, thank you, Mr. Nishina. That was the first time I heard, what was that the DCCA acronym for? I'm I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, cat. Yeah, sorry. I I could use the uh uh Delta Charlie Alpha, but uh, 
just using some um, words to help explain you're, what you're the acronym is. You're it up is. on us tonight. Um, <laughs> so you all heard it there. Uh, yes, please contact Dean's office if you have any further questions for him. Thank you, Mr. Nishina. Um, so now we want to move to any members of the public. We have not had anyone make a request through the chat box yet, um, but we want to, the people can either physically raise their hand, um, or to open up your video, you can raise your hand in the WebEx. So first we want to uh, do a round in the, for those that have logged in through the WebEx. Uh, so if any members here want to uh, self-identify to testify, uh, please either turn your camera on and wave your hand, um, wave your hand in the participant box. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go to the call in uh, the the folks that have called in on the phone and check. But we'll give um, at least another five or ten seconds. Okay. Yeah, we don't see anyone identifying. So um, thank you. And so from what I see, we have two folks that have called in. So um, our host, can you unmute the caller on identify as call in user number four? And we'll check if they want to testify or not. You can either decline or uh, if you say nothing, then we'll move on to the next member on the phone. Um, hearing nothing, we're going to move on to call in user number five. Mr. Ching, can you check in on the user number five? Bear with us, folks. We're doing our best with the technology under the circumstances and making sure people we, we promote as much participation as we can. So we've got WebEx and folks on the phone. For those of you that have done some of these, we've had times where we had multiple people in a household on one phone. Um, so we, we got to check, do the rounds here, make sure everyone has an opportunity. But we're not hearing any uh, affirmative requests, so we'll do one more check on those in the WebEx. Um, please open up and don't be shy. Okay. Hearing nothing. Okay. Confirm we haven't heard anything yet. Um, so with that, we're going to move to our adjournment. Uh, following the conclusion of our public hearing, the commission and the consumer advocate will continue with the review of the applicant's requests. The process will conclude with the commission's issuance of its written written decision. This concludes the public hearing for docket number 2020-0050. Thank you for attending and participating tonight. Um, thanks again, everyone. Appreciate it. Um, thanks for your flexibility, with the use of new technology, and you all have a good evening with your families and take care. Aloha. Thank you for hosting. Aloha. Thank you, Mr. Tamayo. Have a good evening. Thank you, Mr. Nishina. Thank you, everyone else came out to help. Thank you, all of our staff. Uh, I'm going to sign off. Everyone have a good evening. <laughs>